God has ordained a place right here in Columbus, Ohio, 2665 Lockhorn Road, Temple of Compassion, for healings and miracles as you sit listening to God's Word. It may be you given a miracle. Now cometh the hour when the Lord said, Arise, my daughter, carry my spirit and power to the nation. Preach my word. You were born for this cause, for the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Evangelist Patricia Turner. to the end. End of time. End of your life. End of what you're doing. Just the end. He that endured to the end. And it could be this evening. It could be tonight. Shall be saved. But in between there, he that endure, it's a whole lot going on. It's a whole lot in, in between. It's a whole lot moving. It's a whole lot shaking. It's a whole lot of trials and tribulations. He that endure, hold on. The same shall be saved if you can endure. Remembering that Satan is going to come in between the enduring and the end. Watch ye and pray. For we just never know. God is moving, it seems strange to few that are here, but God is at work regardless. Hold out and hold on. The storm has already been raging, but it's going to rage some more. It's not going to stop now since it started. It's going to keep on raging in our lives. So we get in our minds to hold on. He that endured, now you've got to stay planted, stay focused, stay still in the Word of God. Don't be moved by another spirit. Know what you know. Hold on to what you know. Stay planted. Because God is at work. Amen. Amen. I open the scripture. To Daniel. And Daniel 9. It reads, in the first year of Darius, the son of Asherus, of the seed of Medus, which was made king over the realm of the Chattanoids. In the first year of the reign, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of the years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet, that he would accomplish 17 years in the desolation of Jerusalem. 
He said, I set my face into the Lord God to seek by prayer. Supplications with fasting, sackcloth, and ashes. Daniel was serious. He said, I prayed unto the Lord my God and made my confession. And said, O Lord, the great and dreadful God, and that we can see now, dreadful. I wouldn't play with him. Not now. If ever, not now. Dreadful God, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him. This is serious time for Daniel, as he was speaking in prayer unto God. Keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him and to them that keep his commandments. Somebody need to stand up for us and pray. If we go to the same prayer, but little changes. Pray. And I notice in each verse, as I was reading this morning, he said, we and us. He never talked about himself. He said, we have sinned. We. So he did not keep himself out of it. That's one thing today. People try to shun I and talk about we. But he said, we have sinned and committed iniquity and have done wickedly and have rebelled even by departing from the precepts and from thy judgment. Mm -hmm. So true. You can look around and see this prayer in actions and know what Daniel was praying. It applied to us. Daniel's prayer was before much, and yet and still much was happening. He said, neither have we, hearkening to thy servant, the prophets, we have done that, which spake in the name of our kings, our princes, and our fathers, and to all the people of the land, and pay no attention. O oh Lord, righteousness belong unto thee. Mm -hmm. Take your finger and point up. Mm -hmm. Righteousness belong unto thee, but unto us, unto us, confusion of faces as at the day. So to the men of Judah, mm -hmm. inhabitants of Jerusalem, and to all Israel that are heat and that are far off, near and far off, all the country with it that has driven them because of that trespasses and trespassed against thee. God will move them. And see God's hand because listen to what he's praying. And then you can see why God has moved many out. Mm -mm -mm. That is the truth. Listen to Daniel's prayer. He said, oh Lord, to us, here we go, unto us, belong confusion to the face of our kings, to our princes, to the Father, because we have sinned against thee. Mm -hmm. To the Lord God belong mercy, mm -hmm. forgiveness, but we have rebelled, though we have rebelled against him. Here he goes again. Neither have we Obey the voice of the Lord our God to walk in the laws which he has set us by his servants, the prophets. You know, we're not hearing Holly anymore. Everything has gone astray into itself, into its own, and doing their own pleasures and their own will. I could see when the Lord turned it here, I could see what God 
was telling Daniel and how he directed the prayer back into himself. He said, yea, all, all Israel, that's why problems today, all Israel has trespassed that law, even by departing, that they may not obey the voice of the Lord. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us, 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 look, United States, us. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against him. The whole earth is for see, he that endured to the end, the same shall be saved. But take Daniel's prayer, go home, and understand why all these things are happening now. They have begun, and they're not, it's nothing's going to stop it until God stops himself, because he is the one that's doing this out there. Satan had no power over God. If God calls for a tornado, if he calls for a drought, if he calls for rain and hail and storms and wind, it's because he sees what's going on. And he knows what's going on. When there is great thunder, great thunder, someone is not pleasing God. He's talking to his enemies. All the time now, we will send Daniel's prayer. Glory be to God. He reads, and he had confirmed his word, his words which he spake against us. He confirmed it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And against our judges, that they may judge us. Whoa. What he set up is set up for him by bringing upon us a great evil. For under the whole heavens had he been done as has been done unto Jerusalem. Oh, I, 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 I feel God is talking through Daniel, prophet of old. Words still remain the same for this generation. He said, as it is written in the law of Moses, all this evil is come upon us. He didn't say, you all out there. He said, us, it come upon us. Mm -hmm. Yet may we not our prayer before the Lord God, that we might hallelujah, turn from the iniquities, understand the truth. The truth. It's the truth. It's hard to receive the truth when we're all in iniquity. When we would not bow our ears to hear what the prophet speaks to the church. No matter who we are, Jews, Gentiles, Greeks, it doesn't matter what color skin we have. God's talked to the whole nation. He that endured to the end, the same shall be saved. He said, therefore, had the Lord washed upon the evil, he has kept his eyes upon them and brought it upon us. For the Lord God is righteous in all his works, which he doeth for us. For we obey, for we obey not his voice. Raise every hand in here that applies to us. He that endured to the end, the same shall be saved. Amen. And now, O oh Lord our God, that has brought thy people forth out of the land of Egypt, with a mighty hand and has gotten thee renowned as at this day. We have sinned and we have done wickedly. Ever since the time began, 
people often want to be Jews? Often now, since it's come out that he is the Messiah, the black Messiah, but then cometh hatred. Am I not right about it? God chose this hour and this time to reveal his son and who has accepted him. Strange at this hour, this has happened. But God was in the beginning. And the beginning was the Word. And the Word was God, and the Word was with God. In the beginning was Him. So why do we marvel what we hear? I feel that. Why? Do we marvel when the word of the Lord has come about us even being wicked before we even seen such? Even at that time, who knew God? At that time, had he spoken these words according to Daniel? No, but there was, go back, the Ten Commandments which yet covered it all. In some scriptures, it explains. Even Paul's writing was the same. But Daniel prayed for us, the word us and we. Not I, but he said we, so yet that includes every last one of us. He said, O oh Lord, according to all thy righteousness, I beseech thee, let thine anger and thy fury be turned away from the city Jerusalem, which now in this age has spread it out. It spread out. Mm -hmm. God is angry with the wicked every day. Yes. He's angry. Mm -hmm. And if it were not so, these things would not be for me. The earth pleased to God. Mm. He said, Thy holy mountain, Jerusalem, this is his, his holy mountain. Mm. Because of our, 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 everybody's, our sins, and for the iniquity of our fathers. Jerusalem and thy people are becoming a reproach to all that are about us. A reproach. God loved Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. He loved his firstborn. Mm -hmm. Then we have to go back and find who's the firstborn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That'll stop a whole lot of argument. Mm -hmm. Shut mouths of a lot of people. He said, now therefore, O oh Lord God, hear the, the prayer of that servant. Talking about himself. And his supplication and caused our face to shine upon the sanctuary that is desolate for the Lord's sake. For the Lord's sake. It's desolate. Mm -hmm. For the Lord's sake. Mm. Why? Mm. Desolate. God is still moving people out. Yeah. Upon the rock, I build my church. Mm -hmm. And the gates of hell shall not prevail yes, against it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. God will move you out. Thank you. Thank you. He comes for righteousness. Mm -hmm. He comes for judgment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Those who righteous is sin and judgment in his house. Uh -huh. He said, oh my God, and I'm almost through. He climbed that ear in here. Incline that ear and hear, please, oh God, please, oh God. Mm -hmm. Open thine eyes and behold our desolation. And the city, we pray for the city there. Because mm -hmm. that's God's territory when he comes back. Mm -hmm. Jerusalem, that's where he shall descend mm -hmm. on the mountain. In Jerusalem. 
and the city which is called, see, by thy name. Woo. He didn't say any of these cities over here. Jerusalem is called by his name. So people might as well quit the stir. Quit jumping around. Try to be what you're not called to be. He may have grafted us in. That's what he's done. He's grafted us in. Mm -hmm. That we may be saved. Ooh, I feel like this is a joyful sign. Because there's prayer that's gone up. And it should, and it is still remaining. If it were not so, it would not be in this book. Right. Everything that is written is remaining. Mm -hmm. it, it pertains to us somewhere and somehow. This city is called by name, for we do not present our supplication before thee for our righteousness, but for thy mercies. Everything is for his mercies. Mm -hmm. Even when we call upon him, Pray before him. It's not about us. It's about him. The last verse here. O oh Lord. Hear, O oh Lord. He said, forgive. Forgive. Look at someone and say, forgive. forgive. See, a lot of times we... We need to talk to ourselves through looking at somebody else. As you forgive those, he'll forgive you. So we look at someone else and say forgive, that God may do a work. He's doing a work when you say forgive, just as that. You're looking at another God in somebody else. Forgive, oh God. Forgive, O oh Lord, hearken and do. Defer not. For thine own sake, oh my God. For the city, for the city, and thy people, listen to this, are called by thy name. The city. <laughs> now, now see, it touches whom it will and it'll go out to where it will. When you say such words, and if you're in the spirit, then you will understand. If you abide in him and he abide in you. I know about asking, but if he abide in you and you abide in him, he'll give you that spirit which is in you. And you know what Daniel's talking about. I feel this. You will understand this is the time of prayer for we and us. And if you're part, being grafted in, then you will pray and ask God, oh God, forgive. Yes. For they, Jesus, they know not what they do. Yes. For thy city and thy people, the people, the people, the firstborn, and those that are grafted in, those are the rapture people. Those are the 144,000. Those are the number which no man can number. Go ahead. But you're called by thy name. Called by thy name. He, he concluded, those are called by thy name. Called by thy name. That's it. That was his prayer. Called by the name. God gave him the prayer. Don't you know you cannot pray, pray except you're in the spirit. Mm -hmm. We can send words up, but God had to get in there. That's how he answers his own prayer. He answers your prayer, but through him does he not pray. Because God knows what to pray for. He knows every need. He said, city, 
Jerusalem, the people. You see, Daniel had to be a great servant of the Lord. That God will use him to pray for all. Mm -hmm. And God heard the prayer. And God will hear our, oh you are, our prayer if we pray right. And God will move according to the prayer. If we humble ourselves, mm -hmm. seek his face, know him, because he knows you. And God allow you ever to pray. That group of people, hallelujah, God started picking. Mm -hmm. Not plucking, but picking out of those that has been with him, involved with him. And he would draw them through this kind of prayer to be saved. To be saved. Number one, and I'm going to let go, that was a holy prayer. From a holy man. There was a righteous prayer from a righteous man. God will move nations, countries, and cities when he hear that one prayer. Mm -hmm. That one person can move mountains if God has called it to be so. Mm -hmm. Just like Elijah, that one man stood against 450 false prophets. And he called on God. Mm -hmm. And God heard the prayer. Ooh, hallelujah. And God moved. To confirm, just like the Bible says here, confirm that prayer. See, that's what God's waiting on. You to pray. So he can confirm the prayer. A righteous man will pray a righteous prayer. So take it home. Think on it. And move mountains with God. Mm-hmm. Did not King Solomon pray before the whole congregation? Fire! He answered the fire. <laughs> hey, glory to God. Hey, said the Lord. I'm with you. I will stay with you. Always to the end of time. So would you raise your hands and be the one who will pray trouble away. Rebuking Satan. We have a small vicinity, a small area, all of us. A small area. God will Move back the enemy out of your way. Oh Lord, our God. Lord, our God who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, us, this day, our daily bread. And forgive, as thy word says, our trespasses, as we trespass against thee. Lead us not into temptation, 
But, O oh Lord, deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, all power and glory, forever, for America, the United States, all Africa, all land of Israel, for all the kings and the queens. For all the governors and the judges, may God spare all before his arrival. May God see what we need. May his ear hear, bow down thy ear, O oh God, and hear. And let thine eyes open unto this prayer, O oh God. Safety is in the Lord. Salvation is in him. Bless God Almighty who hear and answer our prayer. Thank you, Jesus. If there be anyone, say, God, give me that spirit that I need to pray that you may answer my prayer immediately yes come if there be any other let them it doesn't make any difference who's here who's not here who's present who's not present he's the same god he's the same god over all who whispers in our ear i have my upon you. Yes. Let all come so ever be. Let them come in Jesus' name. Yes. message from the book of Daniel through your servant evangelist Patricia Turner. It's not easy to admit sin. It's not easy to confront people about sin. And many of us, like myself, hate being having our sin addressed. We want to get defensive, want to get mean, nasty, quiet, and even pay back others. You do say, be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving each other, just as God in Christ He's also forgiven you. Now, according to the word, we can admit our shortcomings, our sin. You say, my grace is sufficient for you, for power is perfected in weakness. Most glad of thee, therefore I rather boast about my weaknesses, that the power of God may dwell in me. We're under grace. We can't admit our sins. And in a humble confession that we do have sin, that we are in sin, 
He'll come through and replace that with the power of your Holy Spirit so we can have victory over that area of sin. We thank you for that. We thank you for this message today. We lift these things up to you. Amen.